Welcome back guys to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild where before us we see a very interesting camp still up on the Great Plateau near the Hopper Pond in fact and I'm just wondering because I've seen it if I can do something along the lines of burning them out because we got dry grass here that leads along the way which is cool enough as is though playing with fire my mama never told me to I don't want to get burned myself. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, you're kidding. An updraft. Nice. So you can create your own personal updrafts. The other things I'm wondering about interaction-wise. If I shoot through the fire. Nope, it doesn't seem. Oh, it looks like all the fire's going out. Well, it knocked itself out in time. Well, if they're nearby... Yeah, you can do that, but I'm going to blow you up. Right, let's switch to a better weapon. Oh, that guy got caught on fire by the wave of fire. Well, it proved useful in the end, just not as expected. Whoa, 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 stop shooting me, guy. I need to get through before the fire gets me. Wait, you didn't die? There was explosive barrels underneath, that's why I fired there. I think you would have hit your mate. I'm not sure that's what you intended to do. Well, this is my encampment to invade. Farewell. I wouldn't mind your arrows. Stop running away. And I wouldn't mind the treasure chest within. A shrine's nearby. Really? In this direction? Yep. There's another shrine up at the Great Plateau. And we got ourselves some fire arrows for coming this way. But I don't think that's the real game from all this situation, do you? I wouldn't have thought to find a shrine. So it's up there, is it? And the question is, can I make it? Well, if I climb part of the way and then do one last leap. When I'm nearly out of stamina. I should be able to make it indeed. Well, I wouldn't have thought to find a shrine out here. Let's climb up on height. And find the shrine that we're peeking is over there. Right then. Do I dare? I do I dare. I don't know where I'm going. What region even we're going. Or if I'm being stupid, which is quite a possibility. All I know is if I get one more shrine... We're in luck. The Dig Dog Suspension Bridge. Farewell you, uh, I could just put you away again to be honest. People have told me I can do that. A blue Hinox is in front of us. What on earth is that? Well, I don't dare challenge it, but I'll take a picture of it so we can find it later. Not that we don't know where it is, of course. Well, that's not our target. A shrine is our target. And so our exploration continues. The Dark Asso Shrine is our next objective, it seems. Then I need to return to the Temple of Time. Not only get myself a goodie that's supposedly lying at the very top, but I can get myself another heart, which I think would probably still be better than stamina at this point. I mean, let's put it this way: that that Talos, it one hit took three hearts. That's a lot of hearts. I have to also get cooking as well because I know we can get temporary hearts on top of that. I've seen it. I know it's to be real. And of course, my knowledge is you and game trailers. E3, etc. The reveals. I say E3, it's the, of course the treehouse. To you set foot in the shrine, I'm Dakaso. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this combat trial. Because of course, Nintendo don't really attend that. But a minor test of strength. Right, I wasn't expecting to find any fighty fighties. But it's not like we aren't equipped. I should probably... 
eat a little bit of food. Hopefully it doesn't go rotten over time after all. It's one of you, is it? Sword's badly damaged, sure, but I'm just gonna hide away while it does its. Yeah, shooting. That's obviously why it's getting distance now. Whoa! Okay, wasn't expecting that, but. It worked out for me, I guess. I guess I should follow up by using strong stuff, shouldn't I? Get behind the pillar! We know what's coming. Mr. Chop it up. Now what's your intention? Yeah, I'm not having that. Go on. Get out of there. A minor test of strength, eh? Well, we completed you. With stratagems. Oh, springs, springs, shaft. Right, we can get another upgrade. And we also got a guardian spear. What about guardian scouts? The spear has a high piercing power and is testament to the Sheikah's high level technology. The spearhead appears only when brandished. Ooh, techno. Cool. Right then. Well, I'll take my treasure chest too and find out what that is, but most importantly, the orb. As we get an ancient core too, this crystal was made using lost technology. At one time, it was the parasols for ancient machines. This item is very valuable to researchers. One core out of three, eh? Maybe I've got to find them from things like this. Your triumph over the test of strength subverts the prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. More to the point, I'm just glad of what I got. It was very worth coming to this shrine. And so we get ourselves the orb. And another heart to go with it, hopefully. Alright then, to the tip of the Temple of Time is where we'll be heading. May the goddess smile upon you. Of which I'm assured there's a ladder at the side which we could just use to climb the temple. Oh, really? But climbing's so fun! But it makes a lot more sense because you won't have to use the stamina. Yes. I didn't think I'd have to climb to the very tip top. I really just thought you meant the bow. With well, that said and done, let me get there. For the first time using the power of editing. So we resolved to climb ourselves all the way to the tip top. Because something waits there. Indeed it does. So how high do I have to get to spawn whatever this is? And tell me all the all the way. Just to examine it. A Korok awaits. Yaha! You found me! Indeed I did. Why, thank you. And thanks for the tip. Because literally, I got to the tip by doing it. And it seems I can hang there without a stamina loss too. And check out the surroundings, like camps down there, etc. There's still so much to check out of the world, it's ridiculous. Let's carefully pilot ourselves down, though. And get ourselves another upgrade before we move forward. You have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for four, we will get another art container indeed. I don't know, it's just all I wish for. I can manage the stamina. It will be nice to get stamina in time, but for the time being, I can manage it. Plus, if we can get through the replenished stamina, which we can do, we get the honey. And surely, if I can eat on the climb, therefore I will not have any stamina issues. But that's our sixth heart, and one of the most important things for me to get. Go and bring peace to Hyrule, I shall. As we head back out. To a Tenno, I wonder? Well, let's see where I end up. And so we make our return. To a Tenno Ancient Tech Lab. Where? 
Of course, we're after another upgrade. I also checked out the line of guardians in front of the Hateno Fort just to farm them for objects and items. Couldn't find any ancient cores though, which was a bit of a shame. But hey you, I think you go see Impa first. But if you're saying you already have some ancient materials, then why don't we go ahead and power up your Sheikah Slate? I will do. For it's the bombs that I need to upgrade because I now have, of course, more shafts. We have enough? So it's time to go snap. And believe it or not, the right bomb upgrade is underway. There was one guardian in amongst that big row of guardians that was still active, right on the edge, which I saw and then I instantly legged it from. Luckily there was a ton of other guardians around that could block me that for me. And with that, we wonder what the actual reward is. Powered up bombs now have a stronger blast and recharge faster. Nice, so hopefully then we could use it in combat to a, a degree or a guard. AOE combat is more to the point. I like extra damage. Yahoo! My little gun still did a trick, hee <laughs> hee. If you have any other runes you'd like to power up, just let me know. Not a problem. Not a problem. But for now, it's off to do a little bit of questing. I checked out Hateno Town a little bit. And I did find some more exclamation marks around. But seeming we're probably nearest it, Hateno Beach is where we have a quest awaiting, isn't it? The Sheep Rustlers is down below. But with that said... Where could there be secrets along the way? Well, a waterfall situation? Looks quite interesting to me in terms of that. Let's give it a little bit of a fly. Those to sprout some flowers here. Any goodies hidden around? Just seems to be a nice little place. No more to the point. I guess we could take some more pictures. I did take some more pictures of some general wildlife, etc. around, so we can find that in time. Got to press A. I keep trying to press B to leave for that. That's the sunshrooms we're after. The ten of them we need to find. What's that? Well, I see it, but there's a hearty radish here. I'll take this, thank you. So that's the sunshrooms we've marked before. Well, okay, this is the place for us to get the ten sunshrooms, is it? Well, I didn't manage to get any of you then. Scared you off. Hey, maybe you'll land again. Let's figure out the actual, if this is the where we get our sun shrooms as well for that quest. Let's figure out how we set it. So go to Hyrule Compendium. That's the Hylian shroom that I found. There's a the sun shroom. So it's got coal resistance on it. Target with a sensor. So we're currently targeting sun shrooms. They're definitely nearby. What's this? Another hearty radish. Well, here seems quite good. Wood pigeons. I think I've taken some pictures of them before. Well, there's one. It's probably another. Lizard I didn't manage to get. I'm not sure if I've taken a picture of a stamina shroom at this point. We'll get ourselves some goodies. There's definitely something on that tree. No joke, there's 100% something there. An acorn. Oh, we can't take a picture of an acorn. That's a silent shroom. Now where did the birdies go? I said and done, let's glide over part of the way here. There's got to be something on this island. If there's nothing whatsoever, I'd be amazed. 
This is distracting me from the actual quest, though. But I didn't think I'd find the sunshrooms right there and then. Korok? I say yes. Yeah. It had to be. Right, a Korok found there. I'll put you down. And then I'll get gliding this way. So I don't have to swim yet again. Fish below. I guess we could take pictures of the fish too. If we wanted to. How many more of these shrooms do I have to find? I see it has to recalibrate whenever I'm looking for one. Just for a little bit. No, I scared them away again. Oh, nope. More interested than that. And I'm guessing it'll give me an update when I've got enough. Well, how many do I have now? Must have like nine plus. Go on, hightail it, lizard. I just walk past one. Aha! Maybe there's only ten in this forest. Or maybe I don't get the quest update. Now we got ten of them at least now, so we can go back for that. Uh, no problem. A little extra quest done there. Right, so we're going to have to change that. So how do we change it back to shrine hunting? Do we just click the sunshroom and then turn it off, basically? Hmm. This is a question now. How do I turn it back to what it was before? Because shrines are more interesting to me, that's for sure. Well, here's an obvious spot. A ring of flowers. But now can I successfully dive into it? Do I have to dive? Do I have to fall from on high? It's just from a certain distance. Another cork is ours. I'm more luck with getting the corks here, aren't I? Yes, there's more shrooms, I bet. Literally took the feet of the hot-footed frog. Well, you hop away. Because our destination is way down there. A fox amongst the birds? Are you hunting? There's ore to be found. Now, here's a question. Or could I say a worry? Yeah, there we go. What's waiting there for us? What enemies await? So they've got the sheep, quite obviously. But what can I do as a plan of attack? Always got bombs, you say? And the high ground to go with it. Someone went flying, and I'm behind a ridge, so they can't even see me if they wanted to. Well, they're landing next to that big one. I'm quite happy with that. They don't know where I am at all. So I could just keep going with this strategy forever. Look at him go. It's probably not a bad one. Thin, and thin the crowd down a little bit. for the big one. If I get rid of at least a few, some of them are definitely blue after all. Fact. There we go. There's one. This is the way to go. Trick shot. Oh, it's not going to get him. Oh no, it did him. Brilliant.
Go and investigate it. Yeah, that's clever. If I get the big one down, then I feel like I can invade. <laughs> there we go. Let's pitch you away as well. Right, so you up on the plinth there are probably something special. Probably going to have to use harder weapons here. Let's keep that on. And I know our bow's badly damaged. A sniper's bow. Does it fly straight and true? It does as well. But someone's seen me now. Kind of wanted to take you down, but only one remains. Yep. Here. It's just a battle weapon now. I'll take that, thank you. A Lizal Spear. Okay, well, to you, because you're obviously defeated. It's the stealthy strategy. When do they realize that we're just picking them off? Oh, what a shot! Well, you've got to see me now. Hey, look! Look what I'm holding my hand! It's that evil thing that I wrecked you with. No, you still got your weapon in hand. That's worrying. Yeah, do that. Well, that's a question, question, question. An enhanced Lizal Spear. Not bad, not bad. If I check the way, there's one more enemy still left, I know as well. Oh, Bucket Club broke. That's cool, because we didn't want it anyway. Let's use this. They all had spears, did they? Hello, you. I'll trust you to fly. Yeah, I'm not letting you do that. I've got strategies for you. Mainly chucking bombs. Not a problem. The sheep rustlers are defeated. The man did it turn to night fast. Not got blood moon on our way, have we? I mean, the last time we had rain like this. It wasn't actually stellar force, was it? Alright, let's check around the area a little bit more. Arrows times five is great. I guess the sheep will come back on their own. Crabs. An iron shell crab. I'll take you. Thank you. You join my group. One day I'll get to a big cooking session so we can figure out some recipes. I'll be like Ignis all over again. Okay, definitely something here. A Korok. At least we know what to do with these. Follow them. Wherever they go. Octorok. Over there, cool. Had to be on one of the small ones, because it's got to end on the big one, hasn't it? It's got to end over there. Yep. Hopefully the Octorok doesn't really get me. Oh, what? Well, there's a core of force. That shrine's too far off. Unless I take a raft somehow. Which is a brilliant idea. Is there a raft nearby? Ow! I don't think there is. Let's keep checking out the island, because if we stay at night like this, you never know what we might find. Ooh, I want that. A dragon bone Boko Bat 36, used only by the toughest Bokoblin warriors. This Boko Bat has been fortified with fossilized bone. It boasts a high durability and is strong enough to beat down powerful foes. What weapon should I get rid of for that? I don't need a torch right now, I guess. And a torch is good enough to take on you. 
and finish off the job. Whoa, what? What? Obviously, I don't want to be using what I'm using against them. And now we got Lizalfos? Right. What's this? A Lizalfos arm has 12. You can feel it wiggling when you strap on your back. It's very brittle. It's not something we want to carry around long term. A Lizal shield is pretty good. Sloppy craftsmanship offers poor durability. Yeah, but it's got good strength in the time. And Lizal boomerang, 14 damage. There are definitely things I can get rid of for that, but if I'm looking for a boat, I kind of want that in the moment. Spear's cool. There's our boomerang cooler. Again, I've used the Boko shield for a fair bit, and the blazing shield I don't think we need anymore, really, do you? I think I should switch that for the, uh, the special shield we just got there. Well, it's this area is proving quite lucrative. Is it above my level, we could say? I do not know. Okay, Razor Claw Crab. Well, there's a raft, so that's great. What other things can we find when we're out there? Let's just check around a little bit more, just in case there's any more core exciting. Game saving. Doesn't that make you worried? Makes me worried. Alright, something's shining in the distance. And if anything goes too bad, I'll probably warp out. I feel that's the thing to do. It's probably not good to go to sea while at this. So we got a shrine. And the shrine has a palm fruit. Fruit from palm trees that grow near the ocean. It doesn't offer any special effects, but will increase your heart recovery when used as an ingredient. So we need two of them there, do we? Let's go with this as our weapon for now. So where do I get palm fruit? Well, there's one. There's one. Did I cut down Hylian rice? This grain is a favourite among residents of Karakur village. It's grown in regions using a lot of war and is quite versatile. Used an ingredient in things like risotto and rice balls. So... Cutting the grass can get me restless crickets too. I guess I hadn't really tried up until this point. Some of it's rice. And some of it hides crickets. A cork leaf came from there, but what we're most interested in is you. Ah, oh, if only I took a picture of that cricket as well. Right, we have palm fruit. So I guess it's time for us to put them down here. I kind of cheaped out on the previous... Uh, Blood Moon after all, so if one comes, that would be kind of cool. I want to experience it. Hmm, can I drop them one at a time, or not? Let's just drop one in first. And then follow that up. That's why I eat it by accident. Well, we've done enough court quests around this area, haven't we? Yeah, ha ha, you found me! Hey, my explorationing actually went up a level. To be honest, if it's open world and it's full of stuff, I am going to miss stuff regardless. Well, let's take that raft then with a Korok leaf. As the rain seems to be going down. And see if I can get myself anything else. A shrine awaits us. The quests have been completed in the meantime. Restless crickets, however, seem to elude me. Let's continue on next time. Bye-bye.